Hey, what's up everybody? This is Raptor Dad Gaming, and in this video I'm going to go over my Oculus Quest 2 settings for DCS. So, let's get it started. First and foremost, uh, the game mode. What does it do? The world may never know. Maybe somebody legitimately does know, and please, if you do, throw it in the comments. But, uh, when I first got my Quest 2, I had the official Quest Link cable, and it wouldn't recognize my headset. And so, I got a hold of the Oculus personnel, the support team, and they're like, hey, go to game mode and turn it off. I'm like, okay, well, what does it do? We don't know. Just turn it off. I'm like, okay, bro. So we shut it down, and immediately I was able to connect with the Oculus Link. So first and foremost, make sure your game mode is off. Just do a search for game mode in your computer here, and you'll be good to go. Right after that, go to related settings, graphics settings. The hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that is off as well, and that'll help with... If you're trying to stream, go through OBS, as well as, for me, it seems like it's had some legitimate performance issues while I was with actually playing DCS. If you turn it off, it seems like it makes things a lot smoother. Not sure why, and maybe it was something else fixed with these last couple updates. There's been about two or three updates since I initially planned on making this video. Um, so maybe some of these things have changed, but I would recommend trying these things out first. If you're, you know, this is your first time messing around with the Quest 2. So, hopefully this will get you started if you're having any of those issues from there. We'll move over to how to enhance your actual experience with DCS in particular. So, first and foremost, I recommend getting the Oculus Trade Tool if you don't have the Steam version of DCS. Uh, specifically, what this will do is you see I've got the quest link option selected and the encode resolution at 4000. I can't remember what the default number is. I want to say it's like mid 3000s maybe. But as you decide to change your visuals, this will help offset that and make it still nice and crisp to where you can read all your cockpit dials pretty much no matter what resolution you have it set at. I think my settings in the game right now are about 512. You could crank that up to 1024 later on. And that's what I plan to do. But for right now, putting your encode resolution at 4000 will help make that image nice and crisp, despite the base resolution only being 512, as well as keeping the gameplay nice and smooth. So I'm going to go ahead and get the game cranked up. Um, before I do that, I want to mention the Steam version has this same feature along with the Oculus. I'll see if I can get that brought up here as well. Here it is. And maybe it works, but for me, like I said, it seems to be more effective when I use the Oculus Tray tool. So maybe it's something I'm doing wrong. I don't know. So personally, I just prefer the Oculus Tray tool. Make the changes. It's super easy to use. The interface here is very easy. It's literally, you install it. I think it's on this at default. Go down to Quest Link. Make the change to 4,000. Bit rate 500. Save and restart, and it'll go ahead and do just that. So ultimately, it's not very difficult at all. So next, let's go ahead and crank up DCS, and I'll show you my settings. I would recommend using these as a baseline only. From here, you can scale up or scale down based upon your own PC's uh, capabilities. So I'm going to get that loaded. I think, did I turn off my headset? I don't know. Let's find out. Bloop. All right, so here we are. We're in DCS, and again, I would say I recommend using these settings only as a baseline. From here, you can scale up and scale down as you need to. So I'm going to try to zoom in here without bonking my head on the microphone, and that way you can actually see what they are, what the individual settings are. So textures, they're at medium right now. Again, crank them up, crank them down as you need to. This is just a baseline so you can adjust as needed. Um, I won't go through all of them because you can see them here. So, uh, just want to make note of one thing, visit range. This is how far you can actually pick up targets. So, I put this at medium so that way I can still get a pretty good distance on laying eyes on targets. So, it helps you with the situational awareness. Right now, we've got the clouds. 2.7 update. Woo woo! I'll definitely be cranking that up later on. 
All right, from here, we'll go over to the VR. And as I mentioned before, pixel density, this is absolutely huge as far as determining your smoothness versus quality. The higher the number, the higher the quality, the more of a draw on the system, your PC, it's going to be. And so I found 1.2 to be a fairly decent uh, place for my system. Um, again, adjust it as needed. I've played as low as 0.6 and it is freaking butter smooth however it is very grainy even with the encode resolution at 4000 it's still pretty difficult to see but it I was getting no less than 50 frames per second so that's your trade-off you know you get your quality versus performance ultimately um, VR mirror options this seems to be something brand new and I'm excited to try this out I'm not even sure what it is so more to come on what that is and how it affects the gameplay. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. We're good with that. And I'm going to do a quick BFM sortie with the Hornet just to show you how everything looks. Let's see if we can knock out this MiG-29. So the main thing is looking around. It's looking great, right? We're at, what, 45 frames looking at bottom right there, 43, 44. So we're looking pretty righteous. No hiccups, no stutters, I'm not dropping out. All right, he's got us locked up. Let's see if he's actually going to pull the trigger this time. I don't trust this guy. He shot me in the face once during the merge. I don't trust him. All right, we're on the level. I'm going to go ahead and pull. Oh, he went vertical a little late. Interesting. I think I can still hang with him, so I'm going to keep the pull on this turn and I'm gonna go vertical with him he shouldn't be coming back at me just yet I like to live dangerously so I'm gonna take my shot a little bit far away 1.3 miles yeah that's not gonna work oh we're shot And as you're diving back down here, when you get all the terrain, this is where you get the higher draw in the system. You notice that the frames drop here significantly. I'm in still low 40s, I think. Try to give, give me that wing. Give me that. Give me that wing. There you go. Thank you. All right. And there we go. Down goes Fulker. Just a quick look around. Again, everything's looking pretty decent, nice and smooth. Still in the 40s, so... We drop occasionally into the 30s, but it's looking pretty decent, though. And from here, we'll go ahead and jump into multiplayer. All right, so we're here in the Persian Gulf, just spawned in at al Manhad Air Base. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that correctly. And right now, we're looking at about... 35 frames, which is about what we expected. Uh, you see we've got a city over there, so I'm going to go ahead and... You're starting here in a cold start. I'm going to get cranked up. We're going to quick fly through it, and we're just going to see what the maximum draw is when we fly through a populated city. So, stand by. Alright, so we are airborne here in Persian Gulf. Just took off from al Manhad the Air Base, and I'm going to head over here to a... I say populated, but basically a an area where there's lots of building, so there's going to be a lot more graphic uh, draw on the system, if you will, or strain on the system. And we're going to see what we can do. How are we going to attack this thing? So I'm going to head over here to the buildings, do some ace combat, low level flying. And uh, we'll go from there. We'll see what it looks like. So, so far, looks like I can't tell that number. It looks like maybe the low 30s. I mean, it's still looking pretty smooth comparatively. So I am... Absolutely not complaining at all. Now, admittedly, this isn't uh, through the Inferno, so maybe there would be a higher draw on the system in a room like that. Because, uh, you know, there's a lot more going on. You've got the different missions going. I think this, mm, this room really didn't seem to have a whole lot going. It had a decent amount of people in there. I think there were like 17 people in there. Um, so let's see. We're gonna fly through here, a little bit of that, and bada boom, bada bing. Yeet! Let's see, maybe we can get a little lower on these next one, but so far, I think maybe in the 20s, it's still very much playable. Mm 
Okay, now we're getting probably in the teens. Yeah, we're in the teens easily. Oh, yeah, it's definitely not liking that. Okay, okay. But instantaneously, as soon as we got past that part, you can see it smoothed out and we're back up in the 30s. I'm going to drop back down here again. Oh, wow, that's looking really smooth for a second. We, we touched 40s again. Maybe low 30s. But uh, absolutely playable by all stretches. I mean, it's, it's good stuff. Like this needs to be a race course somewhere around here, a little slalom through the buildings, you know. I'm sure I'm probably late to the party, and it already is. Oh, and then it gets crazy choppy. All right, I'm gonna pull up because it got super choppy there. Man, that was tough. But as soon as we pull up, though, looks like we're back in the 30s. Oh, I'm getting picked up now. My RWR on. Up in chaps and flares, hopefully nobody uh, is trying to hit me. Alright folks, so there you have it. Uh, looks like, you know, with these settings you can get about 30 frames. If you get into a heavily populated area like this, it's going to drop on you, obviously. Um, but if you're doing a mission, I don't really see why you're going to be flying through low level like this, trying to evade missiles, you know. Um, more realistically... I mean, I, I guess it's possible, you know, the more I think about it. If somebody were to put a SAM site here or something and you want to use the buildings for cover, that's terrible, but, you know, it is what it is, right? It's a game. It's a game. So, well, that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate everybody tuning in. If you like what you saw here, give it a like and subscribe, and we'll definitely keep the content flowing. Raptor Dead Gaming out. Thanks for watching.